Yo, this is Josh Johnson back at it again with another high quality banger, man. Make sure y'all like the video. Ask me any questions down in the comment box below. And then also add me on Snapchat. My Snapchat is burritos or die. If you're looking for that one on one type help, you feel me? Go ahead and add me on there because I'm going to help you out quick as possible. You feel me? It's going to be like instantaneous. So make sure you follow me on there. Again, we back at it with another bangers. This is all I like to do on my channel. So if you do like bangers, you do like high quality videos, go ahead and add, subscribe to the boys, subscribe to the channel. So we gonna get right to the video. You know I mean? Y'all know what I mean? I don't like wasting y'all time. I'm gonna get right into it. So basically, in this video, we are gonna show you how to use your wave grease pomade, specifically the gold sporting waves. So let's get into it. So basically what I really want to tell you guys about the sporting waves and like the pomade and everything like that, it is very, very important for waivers to use it. And uh, I really want to tell you guys like the pomade is basically like the memory card to save your waves, to make sure that you are laying down your waves. I always say that, but I want to make sure you guys get that, understand that. Make sure you have a pomade, even if you don't like how the pomade feels, like still use it, man. Like I've been getting a lot of questions about that. like how to use the pomade like i don't really like the texture you know everybody's different on that but make sure you use it man because if not you are going to lose progress like pomades are very very important to laying down your hair and every time you don't use it it's a possibility for your hair to curl up and you know waves are basically laid down curls so it's going to mess up your pattern man so you want to make sure you're using a pomade you want to make sure you're also brushing with the pomade get into it and then getting more familiar with each pomade that you have like each session like understanding like hey i want to use this amount you know you don't want to use too much but you want to use uh, about that specifically for your hair like if you have 180s you may be able to use less than somebody who has 360s so just keep that in mind and also keep in mind that the reason why i say the gold sporting waves for me personally is because the gold sport waves has the extra hold so extra hold is always important is really really good because you don't have to put that much in your hair and then also you're going to have a better hold throughout the night when you're sleeping and even throughout the day so just keep that in mind because some other pomades aren't as thick or the consistency is a little bit lighter so that way it might be not as strong you know what i mean so you would hate to put in your hair put in do all the brush tests and everything and your hair is still not laying down so if you are having that problem so i suggest you upgrade your sporting waves and get the gold one i always tell you guys this that's just the one i've been using i have used the black ones and i have used um the 360 style ones but personally the gold one is just the way to go bro so after you understand that man i really want to get into like when to use it and the best times to use it and then kind of like how often you want to use it so the best times to use it let's start off with that the best time to use it is right after like a shower like after you shower brush and after you um get done with uh, your routine on that so basically after you shower and you shampoo and then you conditioner and then you even put your leave-in conditioner you want to put the sport waves in so what I recommend to you guys is obviously shower brush. You know, you want to use a shampoo with the shower brush. You want to use a conditioner with the shower brush. And then after that, you want to wash all that out. And then you dry your hair, right? So after you dry your hair, I do a leave-in conditioner. That's a curling gel souffle. That's my favorite. That is like my favorite leave-in conditioner. Honestly, like it helps out with my hair so much. So if you don't have that, go ahead and get that. But I use that for the leave-in conditioner so that way my hair is not dry. Like that's also very, very important. That's why I say leave-in conditioner. So I use that. Then after I put it in the leave-in conditioner, that's when I, um, when my hair is dry, like I don't want it damp, but everything, once everything's dry, I make sure everything's tire dry. I put in the sporting waves, man. And after that, like using those two products, it just makes sure I have really, really good shine. And then also make sure that my hair is laid down spectacular. You know what I mean? My hair is just laying down perfectly. I don't have to worry about it sticking up throughout the day. And then also too, the more you use the gold sweater waves, the better it gets in your hair. So, you know what I mean? Keep that in mind. You don't have to use it every day, but I would say use it every other day. But your hair becomes trained after a certain amount of time, like with the gold sporting waves. So because you're saving it in progress and you're using it more often and you're also brushing with the sporting waves, your hair is going to remember the pattern that it was put in. So, you know, when you're brushing, you're brushing, you're brushing, you may notice like, hey, 
I don't want my hair to shift out of this pattern that I just brushed in. So, you know, you save the progress in with the gold pointed waves. And next thing you know, after continuous use, it's just gonna, your hair is just gonna follow direction. It's just gonna go right into line where it's supposed to be. And that's what you want, man. So make sure you're using uh, one that has a lot of hold. Also, Murray's is good too. Like if you don't have go the ghost point where you can try to Murray's, that has a really good hold too. But um, just knowing that like using that consistently, it does help out your hair. So never feel like it's not working because it is. And then also, you know, with leave-in conditioner, like back to like leave-in conditioner after the wash and style, you put in the leave conditioner and you put in the ghost sport waves and then you rag up right after that. Like that's just the main way to use the sport of waves. Like before you even go like with just brushing with it, you want to use it through that method first. And then like using it with like brushing it, that's like a second step to if you feel like you want to do like more hold on your waves or you want it more like a silky look or more laid down look so just remember that so just just to recap you know a shower brushing after that like the washing hair getting everything in leaving conditioner that's the best way to use it and then after like a couple of days later you can do it with um, your uh, brushing techniques like your shower brushing not shower brushing your um, more of so of your uh, regular brush sessions like your hour brush session you can put that in too and then you just kind of integrate it and then change it whenever you feel like you know you don't want your hair to be too greasy or you don't want to be too much product in so it's just really up to you but just make sure you're using it and then you know at night at night is just the best time if you're really confused on that just use it at night and then see what gets you the best results so um another thing i have been getting a lot on my snapchat is that you know the consistency or learning how to use it or a lot of new waivers aren't using it at all which is going to make them work harder so this is why i really wanted to make this video because if you do not use this your hair will not progress like unfortunately a lot of times you'll have waves but they'll either have like a lot of forks or if not a lot of forks they'll be dry and then they'll be sticking up so you don't want to deal with that you're just going to have to work harder than what you need to so just remember that like using that in a do-rag everything as i said before works together but using it all together is just going to give you faster results faster progress and better waves that's the end result that's what you want you want better waves and you want manageable waves and then as i said before like using it consistently is going to train your hair perfectly your hair is going to be trained it's going to listen so you don't want to not use the sweater waves because it's not going to save the progress and your hair is going to be wild over curl and dry so we don't want that we want you to have good waves so just keep that in mind use it and learn how to use it and consistently use it with everything all together man so next thing i want to talk about is like brushing with the sporting waves like kind of really how to do that and how to do that effectively so if you are doing a one hour session you know what every one hour session you don't have to use the sporting waves but like as you get more familiar with it you don't wash it out like you know if you depending on how long you wash your hair out like how much you get all the product out but if your sperm waves are still in your hair you can brush with it and you don't have to add anymore but basically what that does is going to help your pattern like that's really what we want to is be able to move your pattern so just using that maximum hold pomade the gold sporting waves which is what i recommend to you guys once you use that and your hair gets used to it it literally is going to pull each strand and then it's almost like a glue type feel which is really really good because it's going to stick and lay your hair down it's going to be a good consistency and it's going to feel like everything is saved which it is so it's going to literally pull your waves and then connect them so that's one of the main things of why you want to use it as well is because it's going to connect them when you use the right brush and you brush it in the right way and the reason why it's connecting is because your hair is going to be more trained and it's going to fall in line with the curve of the brush, whatever brush curve you have, and then however you're brushing with the mirror. So, you know, keep that in mind. Definitely understand that it is a process, but once you learn how to combine everything together, your waves are going to be a lot better, a lot more manageable, and they're going to look a lot better. And then after, once you combine everything and use everything, you'll notice like after cuts, even after you wash the sporting waves out, you're still going to have waves underneath your cut, which is also what you want. So your waves won't go away. It's going to be literally saved in like 
they're not going anywhere you don't have to worry about wolfing and you're losing progress just training your hair just goes such a long way because you don't have to worry about anything disappearing on you know so, you know, so just keep that in mind use it use it properly ask me any questions if you have any questions on that and yeah that's pretty much it so if you do like the video thanks so much for watching the video comment down below if you have any questions and i'll see you guys in my next video i appreciate it i'm out